What's up guys? Welcome again to another episode. This is Moses Smash and uh, I wanted to show you the progress of my chicks. As you can see, as you can see now uh, the chicks are almost laying and uh, but uh, it has been a long wait uh, for the eggs and um, still I've, not, I've got no eggs. But uh, there is one sign that I've seen that uh, is showing me the eggs are almost coming. When you see this amount of feathers, when they start shedding these feathers, the teenager starts shedding the feathers, you know they are almost laying the eggs. And uh, I think uh, I think they are big enough. As you can see, uh, these chicks are big enough. They are almost weighing uh, 1.45, they are almost weighing 1.45 kgs, uh, 50 grams to go, because uh, they start laying when they attain around uh, 1.5 kgs and at, at this stage I give them enough food I don't use the chart to feed them when they are almost laying I give them enough food so that uh, they can uh, they can attain uh, the desired weight uh, uh, quickly as you can see there's still among uh, uh, there's still uh, more feeds in the troughs they're not done with the feeds and I did this intentionally because I uh, usually I don't give them a, a lot of a lot of food. Uh, these ones, these ones have uh, finished their feeds. But as you can see, these ones have not yet finished the feeds. Number one trick when you're expecting the eggs is you feed them adequately. So I decided to add the ration uh, more than the age because uh, the chart I use is age specific uh, when using weeks. So at a certain week, you give them uh, this amount of grams per head. So, but uh, at this stage when they are almost laying, I don't, uh, I don't ration the food. I just give them the food so that they can lay quickly, and uh, I can attain a, a high laying percentage very quickly. But when they start laying, like at 10% laying, then I start the rationing. I start giving them around uh, 130, 120 to 130 grams per chick per head. Or when the feeds are not okay. I give them uh, 140 grams because uh, there is variation in, in feeds. Uh, I've been sticking with one uh, with one company of feeds, but there are sometimes uh, when uh, you find out the the production of eggs is uh, is uh, is quite low. So sometimes those guys who provide us with with feeds they mess with the ratios, and uh, that messing up translates to messing up your chicken and uh, you get uh, lower production but at this time I'm expecting maybe in two to three weeks they will start laying it has been a long long wait uh, for them to start laying as you can see they are big enough uh, they look uh, they look a bit mature but they are almost uh, the weight uh, I've, I've measured most of them the weight is not uh, very bad I think the lowest I've, I've taken is 1.3 kgs and I'm expecting all of them to be 1.5. I've got some of them have uh, attained almost 1.48. They are almost uh, uh, the, 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 the required weight. So I've decided to up update you on this video guys so that, uh, so that uh, you can have a clue of what is going on in the farm. And... Uh, I'll still uh, I'll still show you the 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 the, the feeds. If these feeds are uh, if these feeds performs uh, quite well this round, I'll show you the company that uh, I've been using to supply my my feeds that have been supplying me with feeds. So this is another thing that I'd like to show you here. <coughs> As you can see, the amount of uh, waste. Uh, is quite much, but the, uh, the one thing that I want you to note is the amount of feathers that this chicken have shed. Uh, they have shed uh, 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 quite some amount of feathers, and uh, this shows me they are almost done. With the with the previous ones that I had, when they started uh, shedding the feathers this much, they were almost done. Then the sheep here are full. 
uh, they have decided now to take a rest and they are quite okay so guys if there's any question please drop your question in the comment below if or if you have any other comment kindly drop the comment in the comment section below so that uh, i can give you the answer if need be and i'll see you in the next educational uh, video